Aloha, just checking in from Maui. It's been a few days since uh, my last video and I thought that I would come back and update you guys with, uh, you know, what I've been hearing over the course of the past few days, what I'm witnessing, um, the mistruth that co continues in the media. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is not for attention. Uh, I've seen people say that on my last video and quite frankly, it's because I love this land. I love Hawaii. I love Maui. I love the people that live here. And those are our ohana on the west side of the island. And they are in survival mode and they are in fight or flight. They don't have the capability to go out there and make these videos right now. They're looking for food and they're looking for water. So if I can say what I see and what I hear and I talk about the injustice, because they are not able to right now. And so I hope that you do the same. I'm hearing that they put a 12, or they are putting up a 12 mile fence around the perimeter of the quote unquote disaster impact zone. That's what uh, Josh Green called it. Press, media, still not let in. Uh, you know, of course, they are saying that's because we don't want the public or, you know, uh, strangers to be uh, walking on bodies. And that's because only 3% of the grounds have been searched. 97% is still uncovered uh, area that has not been, been gone through by rescue teams. And I can tell you that the missing list right now is about 1,400 people. Uh, and counting. We are being told that the death toll is still around 99. Um, we know that's of course not true. We're going to be seeing a lot more coming out, which is a tragedy. A lot of these are children. Uh, school was home that day in Lahaina. And since the fire alarm system never went off, um, unfortunately, there's neighborhoods full of, of children that have burned. And it's a genocide, what's happened? And, you know, do I believe it was a fire? Yes. Could it have a malicious origin? Yes. Fires don't, I don't know. It just seems like, where was our alarm system? Hawaii has the most alarm most robust alarm system in, in the whole entire country. Uh, and it didn't go off for hours. The reports that I'm, I'm hearing back, they corroborate what other people say, what my mom said, that, you know, the police were blocking all of the exits in Lahaina. It was very hard to leave. They, they, they were trapped there. And I want you to know that I saw the video with the FEMA director and she's a fucking liar. There is not boots on the ground in Lahaina, in Hanakawai, in Nepili, in Kahana. This is not true. And she had the nerve to say that we had an office on island and she was, and we were, they were so lucky that they were able to respond so quickly. They're still not getting help. They still are without food and without water. And the only supplies they have are brought over by Kanakas who boat over and who are able to get over there uh, with approved access. <laughs> they are stopping the ease of any sort of search and rescue. They are preventing people from being helped. The only reason that people know the supplies are coming is because the Cessna planes owned by private locals are flying over and uh, letting people know out the airplane where they're going to be dropping off supplies at the, at the shoreline. This is not okay. They are already denying insurance claims for people who have homes or businesses in Lahaina. They are saying that their places were not within city code. And that's why they cannot be reimbursed. And how could you have insurance if you weren't in code to begin with? I do believe that this is a massive land grab. Uh, Lahaina was the most historical 
place in some of, in all of some of the Hawaiian Islands. This was the um, historical district. This is where the Royal Hawaiians lived. Those buildings were over 200 years old and they were protected under historical laws. And now that's not, now it's gone. And I'm appalled and I'm sick that essentially another 9-11 has taken place in my backyard and they are on the TV saying that they are healthy people. It's unbelievable. I do have a GoFundMe in the bio. I am going to be uh, collecting up money to go straight to families in downtown Lahaina. I'm also working on a gas fundraiser. I'm also working on a way to get some emergency uh, hydration packs down here that don't require water. Uh, I will definitely keep you all posted on that when it arrives on island. Uh, please stay safe. We have some hurricanes headed our way. Stay diligent. Listen to the stories of the locals and listen to the Hawaiians. And pray for Maui. Aloha.